Hello, today I'll show you how to download a free autoresponder and how to use it. This is a very powerful autoresponder. There's no money charges involved and you can use it for as long as you like. The name of the autoresponder is FMLP Lite. It is written in Perl script and you install it on your server. The whole installation will take about 15 minutes and I'll show you step by step how you install it. Okay? Now let's get started. Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install a free autoresponder on your server. Now this uh, free autoresponder, you can use it for as long as you like. It's an unrestricted version and uh, you do not have to pay a, a cent, you can use it. Right? I'll show you how to install this. Uh, in about what, 15 minutes it's uh, really simple if you follow the step now first of all go to the website autoresponder.drquack.com and you come to this page and fill in your name an email address and press subscribe it says please check your email to confirm your subscription check your email there is a message here ask, asking me to confirm so I click this link so I have already done that I received another email saying that I have confirmed my subscription. So you will receive your free easing and software in the next email. And that next email come after a few minutes you receive the email, the free version. You scroll down, you get this. Click this and you start to download the software. Now I've already done that. I'll show, I'll show you the software that I downloaded. Now this is the software that I downloaded. I've already unzipped it. Into this folder. Unzip everything. Go to the README text, open up and scroll down. Step number one. We are supposed to upload all the files in this archive to the CGI bin of the server. Okay. Now we are ready to FTP the file to our server. Go to our control panel, public HTML. Inside there is a folder called CGI bin. What we want to do is we want to transfer all 
the content of this folder to, to the host. After about three minutes, all the files are uploaded to our server. So step number two, we are supposed to change the uh, permission of this file. Right? So what we do, we select the file, control, this file cnf.rd we need to change it to 666 after installation we change it back to 644 okay step 2 is done database right? so to do that go to our C panel select my square database create database use the same name right for the database, username and password. and add user to database okay it's done 